Let's get this party started. Hi there guys, Elliot from ArkhamCity.co.uk here, and this is our new feature, it's Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what a Let's Play is, it's basically when someone uh, videos their progress for a game and offers commentary whilst they're doing it. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. Um, as you can tell, I'm playing the Xbox 360 version of Batman Arkham Asylum, and I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty. Uh, basically the differences between that being the enemies take more damage, they deal more damage, and they don't have hit indicators when they are about to attack you. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, as, as I said this is the start of the game, and I have played it more times than I care to admit. Basically I'm just going through the opening fight scene here, trying to get as many ground takedowns as possible, all whilst keeping my hit chain going, trying to get the maximum amount of XP. It seems to be working, and uh, just about to finish it off now. After this, I think we're going to go and pick up a Riddler trophy that we shouldn't know is there, but we do because we've played through this game so many times, and that should hopefully give us a bigger boost in XP and allow us to level up much quicker than the game intended. I'll find a way out. Ford, try and contact the Warden. Let him know what's happened. Don't make promises you can't keep back. I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? If you think I'll let you run... Bad, bad, bad. Always for the heroes! You looking good watching you. Why didn't you just come find me? Right then, and off we go again. Uh, just going to go and get some Joker teeth. The exact function of which is never actually explained in the game. But smashing them gives me XP, so we're going to go for that. Everywhere that madman goes, death is sure to follow. Kevin Conroy, of course, voicing Batman, uh, reprising his role from Batman the Animated Series, as does Mark Hamill as Joker, and Arlene Sorkin as Harley. Uh, yeah, all of them do a superb job, but in my opinion, just Kevin Conroy. Definitely the definitive voice of Batman. Uh, personally for me, whenever I read a comic book, it's his voice I hear in my head. Just the perfect balance between uh, seriousness and moodiness. Doesn't do it over the top like uh, Christian Bale does in the most recent Dark Knight film. None of the gruff uh, grumbling. He can actually understand what he's saying, and he sounds perfectly menacing all the time. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. Let us go! You'll only end up in more trouble if you continue! And that's Victor Zaz below us, a serial killer who has a very strong affinity with knives. He particularly likes killing people and then scarring his body with tally marks just to show how many people he's killed. Can't have any of that, so a quick bat punch to the head and he's out for the foreseeable future, though I'm sure we'll see him again. And I got an achievement. Oh, hiya, B-Man. Harley Quinn here. How do you like my new uniform? One chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting bats, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Well, technically the Joker's crew shipped him from Blackgate. But you get the idea. Bye-bye for now. Batman, you picking this up? Oracle, I'm here. Arkham Asylum just vanished off the network. He's in control of the security system. He's probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police feeds are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Says he'll detonate them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? I know him. And off we go to the conspicuously large vent in the corner. Batman demonstrating his hatred of vents that will continue throughout the game. He will uh, rip off many event cover and sock around in vents, but it wouldn't be a Batman game 
he didn't spend at least 20% of the time stalking around in vents. Who's that behind them? Oh my god, it's Joker. He's free! How'd he break out? Sorry, feed's down. Comms are up and down like crazy. It's not good. I'll keep trying. Yeah, and uh, the deal with the Let's Play, I'm probably going to go for 100% completion. Uh, depends how much time I uh, have on it. Got stuck on a wall there. That's Batman's stiff uh, movement catching me out there. It's probably going to go for 100% completion. Uh, do all the riddles. Uh, obviously, I'll get all the trophies and everything. All the achievements. Um, we'll also be going to be doing the challenge room walkthroughs. Going to get a free bat star rating on all of them. I know a few people are having trouble with the challenge rooms. Uh, not anymore. This is basically going to replace our FAQ section on the forum. Uh, so everyone's got a video to consult if they do have any problems. Help me! You're going to be fine. Stay here. Batman's here! And this leads to another one of my favourite parts of the game. Uh, basically the platforming, if you can call it that. Basically, for the most part, Batman moves absolutely brilliantly. I mean, you've got the grapple hook, you can glide around. Eventually you get stuff like the zip line. It basically makes moving around the game a joy, especially in some of the more open areas. Uh, when you get to some of the predator challenges, just moving around there. And um, pulling all the tactics, like you've got the gargoyle swinging from, gliding around, climbing up on ledges, jumping around just makes the game really fun. You feel like Batman, you feel like a badass, and to be honest, I just love open world games, so being able to do this as Batman, it's a win-win situation, and I don't think Rock City could have done it any better. You rock! Joker doesn't stand a chance! Just gonna go pick up another Riddler trophy, get my XP up, and we have just reached, and the looks of it, the first level. Which means any second now, just get a screen pop up. And there we go. Um, I'm personally going to go for all the throw ability, uh, just to unlock the combo takedown as quickly as possible, the throw being the prerequisite for it. Uh, some of you may disagree. Sound off in the comments. Sound off in the forums. We're going to have a thread for it. I'll be uh, happy to hear your views. And here I'm going to take an alternate route. Uh, floors are for losers, and Batman is certainly not one of those. I'm just going to hop around. Uh, one of the one flaws of the game is, for the most part, if thugs are intended to be for the free flow system, they will instantly know where you are. Like regardless, uh, you can't stealth them for the most part. But that's okay because Batman's Batman, and uh, he can take thugs out just as easily with his bare hands as he can through the stealth segments. Nice little kick here. Cool look to the camera. And yeah, uh, walking down this suspiciously uh, spray painted hallway. Get the teeth there. And uh, we're just going to go through this door that can't possibly be ominous, and let's see what's in store for us. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Oh, I'm counting on it. Just not yet. And here's a surprise appearance from Gears of War's Berserker. And unfortunately that's all we have time for in this week's episode. Uh, be sure to check out ArkhamCity.co.uk for the latest news on Arkham City and indeed Arkham Asylum. See you next week.